Joined now by our Ticket Smarter Peak Performer of the Week at Women's Hoops, Paige Meyer from South Dakota State, the star junior who is leading this team and uh, a couple of 20-point performances against a really good ranked Washington State team at home. A difficult loss there, uh, but then come back and go on the road to, to Northern Iowa and get the win there against uh, the, the projected top team in the Missouri Valley. How has this season gone for you here in the early stages? Yeah, you know, for sure. We've had a pretty good season to the start. Um, played a lot of tough teams, so um, it's been a lot of fun to kind of play against some of these teams. So I think everyone's kind of finding their role, and um, I think we're kind of meshing together, so it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and you talk about finding a role, meshing together. It's a roster that has had injury, and injury before the season even started, uh, mm-hmm. season-ending injuries. Uh, to some key players, how have you guys managed to deal with that, manage that, and and find some players to fill in some of those roles that you know perhaps were kind of holes coming into the season? Right. Yeah, we um, definitely probably have faced a lot of adversity this year, which I think um, is tough to see anyone kind of go through an injury. But it also has kind of been a lot of fun seeing some of these um, maybe other players that maybe didn't think they would have as big a role or different roles kind of step into these roles. And I think everyone's been doing a really good job of that. And it's been accepting that um, that's the case this year. And and someone that shares the same last name as you, Brooklyn Meyer, she has jumped onto the scene. I mean, we saw her last year, got a little bit of samples of what she could do, uh, but obviously that roster wasn't necessarily, it didn't have the space for her on the court with just five players, but this year she has stepped in in a big way. Uh, how has that been for you as a guard playing with that combination of someone in the middle that can dominate the game like she does? Yeah. Like you said, Brooklyn has been so, so dominant this year and it's been a lot of fun playing with her and it's just fun kind of seeing her confidence grow each game. And yeah, she's been doing really well for us. All right. So tonight a game against Dort, um, at home, your last home game of this calendar year uh, before going on the road for the next four after that. And, and these are not just any road games, right? You're going to Gonzaga, a very good Gonzaga team. You're going to a very good Creighton team uh, on the road at North Dakota to start league play on national television and then on the road at Northern Arizona. Like these are get on the plane type of road games. How does the team stay connected and, you know, drive through some of these difficult non-conference games going into league play and then, you know, on the road to start league play. Yeah, for sure. You know, there's, we're going to have some tough games coming up and we're, you know, excited for this challenge and yeah, traveling together, you know, we love spending a lot of time together. So that's just what we'll be doing. All right. And then obviously league play coming up very soon. Uh, You get a little taste of it with North Dakota, but uh, then the Big Sky Summit Challenge, and then after that, it's just full league play and all the way until March, Sioux Falls. What is the expectation for this season, and, and how is that kind of coming to life right now as you see this team in its current state? Yeah, I think, you know, our goals each year, you know, we always want to be one of the top teams um, and kind of always want to compete for that Summit League title. So I think that's a goal that we have. And, you know, I think playing these tougher games during – the, the non-conference season will help prepare us for that. And I heard that it is your birthday today. Is that correct? That is correct. <laughs> is this year 21? Yep. <laughs> All right. So what are your goals for year 21 that, you know, you, you kind of hope to see come to life? Um, I think just to keep, you know, growing as a team and um, being that leader on the court, you know, being an upperclassman now. So I think just continuing to grow in that role and, kind of lead my team both on and off the court. Well, that's a a good start there. And you're already doing that with a couple of 20 point performances last week, Dort tonight, Gonzaga Sunday. Good luck the rest of the way, Paige. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it.